To start off, take your first color, in my case it's this mustard yellow, and we're going to make a magic ring. You can see on this side it's two parallel lines, and on this side you can see a letter X. I'm going to take my hook, put it underneath, and then over, take out my yarn, and then twist, and then I'm going to take this yarn right here, and pull through this loop that I have. And here we have our magic circle. I'm going to hold my working yarn using my pinky and hold my work just like that. Now make chain 1. And now we're going to make 11 double crochets into this circle. So yarn over and then insert your hook into the space of your ring. Take out your yarn. Now you can see on your hook 3 loops. We're going to pull through 2. Now we have two loops on our hook and we're going to pull through two. So here we've made our first double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook, take out your yarn, we have three, and then pull through two, and then pull through two. Here's our second double crochet. So as you can see, we're always starting with yarn over, inserting our hook, taking out your yarn, and then pull through two, and then pull through two. So we're always pulling through two twice, just like that. Let's make another one, yarn over, take out your yarn, pull through two, and then pull through two. So let's learn how to count our stitches. So as you can see, here's our first two chains. They're counting as our first double crochet. So here's our second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. In total we should have 12 double crochets if we're counting these two chains as first double crochet. So just continue making your double crochets just like that and I will meet you when you'll have 12 double crochets. So here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I have 11 double crochets if I'm counting the first two chains as the first double crochet. Now let's make our 12th double crochet. And then we're going to take this short end tail right here and fasten it. And after fastening we'll have this circle. Now you can see the first two chains that we've made in the beginning of the row. We're going to insert our hook into the second chain. And then make a slip stitch with it. Just like that and then make chain one and cut off your yarn. Here's our finished first row. For the second round take your other color, in my case it's grey yarn and I'm going to wrap it around my forefinger. And then I'm taking my hook, put it underneath and then over. And that's how you make a slip knot. And I'm going to yarn over and hold it with my finger just like that. Now we're going to make a standing half double crochet into this stitch. So insert your hook, take out your yarn, we have three loops, and you're going to pull through all three, just like that. And here's our first standing half double crochet. This short end tail right here I'm going to hold behind my work, and then yarn over, and I'm going to insert my hook into the same stitch. Taking out, I have three loops on my hook, and pull through all three. Now let's find the next stitch right here. We're going to make into that stitch two half double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook and pull through all three. Now let's make another one into the same stitch right here. Taking it out and pull through all three. And now into this next stitch we're also making two half double crochets. Here's the first one, then yarn over, and I'm making my second half double crochet into the same stitch. So the pattern of the second row is we are always making two half double crochet into every stitch. And since we've made in the first row 12 double crochets, in the second row we're going to have 24 half double crochets. So now just yarn over and find the next stitch, 
and hide all your short end tails behind your work and make two half double crochets into every stitch. And that's how you should have 24 in total. And here's the next one. I'm just going to continue working my half double crochets just like that. So continue working your two half double crochets into every stitch and I will meet you in the end of the row. Here I am near the end of my second row and I've already made 11 pairs of half double crochets or 22 half double crochets. And here's the last stitch, I'm going to make into that stitch my last two half double crochets. Here's the first one and then the second. And now to finish our row we're going to find our first half double crochet that we've made and make into this stitch a slip stitch. So right here you can see this V stitch right here and pull through just like that. And here's how our finished second row should look like. And now to start our third row we're going to skip this next stitch and make into this one a double crochet. So yarn over, we're skipping this first stitch and making into this stitch a double crochet. So I have three on my loops and I'm pulling through two and then pulling through two. Now yarn over and we're going to make into the same stitch one extended double crochet. So take out your yarn, we have three, and then we're going to pull through one, and then pull through two, and then pull through two. And that's how you make an extended double crochet stitch. Now we're going to make into the same stitch right here a treble crochet. So we're going to yarn over twice and then insert your hook just like that, take out your yarn, we have four loops, yarn over, pull through two, now we have three, yarn over, pull through two, now we have two and yarn over, pull through two. So we've made into the stitch double crochet, extended double crochet and one treble. Now we're going to make into the next stitch three trebles. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into the next stitch, take out your yarn and then pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So we're pulling through two three times. Let's make two more trebles, yarn over twice, insert your hook into that same stitch, and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Here we have two trebles, let's make the last one, yarn over twice, insert your hook, take out your yarn, we have four, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. So here we've made three trebles into the same stitch. Now we're going to make into the next stitch one treble, one extended double crochet, and one double crochet. So yarn over twice, and we're going to make into the next stitch right here one treble. We have four, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have three, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have two and yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to make into the same stitch one extended double crochet. So yarn over once, take out your yarn, yarn over, pull through once, and then yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. And now make one double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook, and then pull through two once, and then pull through two twice. And now we're going to skip this next stitch and make into this stitch a slip stitch. So we're skipping this one and making into the next stitch a slip stitch. Now we're going to make the next petal, which is basically this one. So now we're going to skip this stitch and make into this stitch one double crochet, one extended double crochet and one treble. So yarn over and then skip this one and make into this stitch one double crochet pull through two, pull through two. Now yarn over, we're making into the same stitch one extended double crochet. So yarn over, pull through one, and then yarn over, pull through two, and then pull through two. Now we're going to make a treble. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into the same stitch, and then pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. 
And here we have double crochet, extend double crochet and treble. And now we're going to make into the next stitch three trebles. So we're going to yarn over twice, insert your hook into the next stitch, and then yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two, and one more time. So here's our first treble, and then let's make two more, yarn over twice, take your yarn, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Now let's make our third treble, yarn over twice, insert your hook into the same stitch, pull through two once, pull through two twice, and pull through two the third time. So after making three trebles, we're going to make into the next stitch one treble, one extended double crochet, and one double crochet. So let's make our treble into the next stitch right here, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Now let's make an extended double crochet into the same stitch, yarn over, insert your hook, pull through one, and then pull through two, and then pull through two. Now let's yarn over and make into the same stitch one double crochet. So just pull through two twice. And now we're going to skip this next stitch and make into this stitch a slip stitch. Just right here. So from now on the pattern is quite repetitive, just re-watch the video. After making a slip stitch, you're going to skip one and make into the next stitch one double crochet, one extended double crochet and one treble. And then into the next one make three trebles and then into the next one treble, one extended and one double crochet. And then you're going to skip one and make a slip stitch. If at any point you feel confused, feel free to re-watch the video where we've made together this pedal or this one and keep making two more petals and I will see you in the end of the row. So I'm currently finishing making my fourth petal right here and I've already made three trebles and I'm going to make into the next stitch one treble, one extended and one double crochet. So I'm yarn over twice, making my treble, pull through two, pull through two and pull through two and then one extended, pull through one and then pull through two and then pull through two. And now one double crochet. Just pulling through two twice. And now we're going to skip this next stitch and make into this one a slip stitch. So insert your hook and make a slip stitch. And now make chain one and cut off your yarn. And this is how our finished third row should look like. Now for the fourth row I'm going to use this mustard yellow color. Take your yarn and make a slip knot. Now we're going to yarn over twice. And then we're going to find the highest point of our petal. You can see the three trebles right here. And we're going to make a treble into the second treble. So here's first one and here's the second treble. Insert your hook into that stitch and make one treble. And then we're going to chain one, hide your end tail behind your work, yarn over twice and make one more treble into the same stitch. Pull through two, pull through two and pull through two. Now into the next stitch we are going to make one extended double crochet and one double crochet. So let's yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two and pull through two. Now let's make one double crochet into the same stitch right here, pull through two and pull through two. Now we're going to make into these next two stitches one double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook and make one double crochet. And then yarn over and into the next stitch we're going to make also one double crochet. Pull through two twice. And now into the next stitch we are going to make one extended double crochet. So yarn over and pull through one, pull through two and pull through two. Now here into the slip stitch we are going to make one treble. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into that slip stitch, pull through two, pull through two and pull through two. 
Now let's yarn over and make into the next stitch one extended double crochet. Pull through one, pull through two, and pull through two. Now let's yarn over and make into the next stitch one double crochet. Pull through two, pull through two, and let's yarn over and make into the next stitch also one double crochet. And now we can see these three trebles that we've made in the previous row. We're going to make into the first one one double crochet and one extended double crochet. So yarn over and make one double crochet. Here's our double crochet. And let's yarn over and make into the same stitch one extended double crochet. Now here's the highest point of our petal, which is the second treble in the previous row. We are going to yarn over twice and make into that stitch one treble, chain one and one treble. We'll pull through two, pull through two and pull through two, and then chain and then yarn over twice and make one more treble into the same stitch. Now we're going to repeat the same thing, so into the next stitch we're making one extended double crochet and one double crochet. Here's our extended double crochet, and then into the same stitch make a double crochet. And now we're going to make one double crochet into the next stitch. And then yarn over and make into the next stitch also a double crochet. And now into the next stitch we're going to make one extended double crochet. And here's the slip stitch that we've made in the previous row. We're always making one treble into that stitch. So yarn over twice and make your treble. So the part of the fourth row has some key points, which is we're always making one treble into this slip stitch at these points. After that we're making one extended double crochet and then double crochet, double crochet and then we can find these three trebles. We're always making in the first treble one double crochet and one extended double crochet. And then into the highest point which is the second treble we're making one treble, chain and one treble into the same stitch. And from this point we're making symmetrical stitches to this side. So here we're making one extended double crochet and then one double crochet and then here we're making one double crochet, one double crochet and then into this stitch we're making one extended double crochet and here's the slip stitch so we're making one treble. So from this point keep working your fourth row and I will meet you near the end of the row. I'm currently near the end of my row, I've already made one treble, one extended double crochet and one double crochet. Now I'm going to make one double crochet into this stitch and then into the last stitch I'm going to make one double crochet and one extended double crochet. Here's my one double and here's my extended double crochet into the same stitch. Now to finish our project we're going to find our standing treble crochet that we've made right here and make a slip stitch and then chain one and cut off your yarn. And here's our finished flower granny square. Mm -hmm.